All right, on the bench today is a Pioneer SX3700. Um, so I, I plugged this one in the other day. It comes out of protection okay. Um, it, makes, it makes noise, but the pots are so dirty that it's causing a lot of really loud pops and crackles. So I'm going to... I'm going to have to go in here and clean it first. I just don't want to cause any damage to anything because it's so bad. But the volume uh, pot is really, really, really touchy. Really bad. Like you barely touch it and it just, it's kind of, um, it's to the point now where it could potentially trip the relay or cause some other damage. So what I'm going to do is just move the camera up top. You can see this has been stored for a little bit. So we're going to do a cosmetic cleanup on it. Uh, pull the knobs, clean the pots, uh, you know, basic service on this, um, DC offset, bias, all of those things, all of the lights, I believe all the lights are working when I had an antenna connected to it, I will have to double check that, or, no, maybe not, maybe the, uh, I don't think the quartz lock or the stereo light is working, I'm going to have to check those out. But all the indicator lights are working, except for oh, auxiliary is out. FM is really dim. So auxiliary is out. B is working. A is working. So it looks like we have a couple of additional things to do beyond the basic service on this. I have to make some notes here and get into this and see what we can do. All right, screws have been removed. Take a quick look. Nothing looks, uh, nothing looks too crazy here. Just a little dirty. Not bad. All right, move to the bottom. Move to the bottom. Let's see if I can get to those pots from the bottom or if we have to take the cover the face off of this or not. I've been so busy lately, there's a whole bunch of stuff I didn't even shoot uh, I didn't even shoot video for. I know when you have a channel, you should be shooting video and all this stuff, but the time it takes to edit, and honestly, it's, uh, I was watching another guy's video, he was doing a repair on something, and, you know, he, uh, he said, I'm going to go and, you know, do these things, and then I'll come back, he said. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to film it, because if I'm filming, I'm not really paying, paying attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> And I could totally relate to what he was saying. Because you end up worrying about the video when you should be worrying about whatever it is you're trying to fix. So, Not that you can't do both, but... Crap in there. Um, it's just kind of an unnecessary... Oh, and I can't get to him from there. Son of a gun. Uh, this is going to be a pain in the ass. going to be a pain in the ass getting to those controls. Oops. I'm just going to put a couple of screws in the bottom just to hold this in place. Well, this is going to take me longer than I had anticipated. I don't know how exactly I'm going to get to the pots. All these little all these little inner sleeves popped off of these.
going to lose any of those. Yep, well, so far I'm batting a thousand on these coming apart. Oh, last one came off. No problem. All right, so on this, before I forget, we got auxiliary. And we have porch lock, stereo. Check those, see if they're working. This is not gonna be something I'm gonna do in one day, so I'm gonna make myself some notes. This thing is uh, pretty beat up. It's definitely seen better days. Boy, I don't know about getting these pots. I don't know about getting these pots at all. It looks like... I might be able to just unscrew this face and get to the pots, but I'm not sure. I don't know that I've ever worked on a 3700. I'm going to see about disassembling this and I'll come back. <laughs> 